Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Nancy from nancybadijo.com. And on today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the ruler guide tool in Photoshop. It's not one of those tools that people are super excited to use. However, if you do sell or create um, digital prints to sell on Etsy, it's actually a really good tool to use because it does help you um, create and like a, a visualize a location where you want certain things that I use it for a lot of my I use it for a lot of my files a lot of my projects I'm gonna go ahead and do like a quick project right now and kind of show you how I use it but you can use it pretty much for anything you want any design that you're making um, and you can use it as a focus point of where you want a certain direction to be at so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your, the rulers are on the top and on the left hand side of your working station. So if you don't have them there, all you have to do is go to view. I'm um, sorry about that. You go to view and click on rulers. If you don't have it, this is how it will look. Once you go to view and rulers, it will pop up. You could change this here by just right clicking. I have it on pixel right now. You could change it on inches if you prefer. And you'll have additional options like centimeters, millimeters, picos, percent, and pixels, whatever you prefer. I normally work on pixels and inches. So just for this video, let's just leave it on, on inches. So what I'm going to be working on is creating, I created a, a thank you tag for my one of my new stores that I'm selling baby stuff. And this person's going to receive, whoever buys this listing will receive 12 of the thank you tags in a US letter size, which is 8.5 by 11 inches. So I would use the ruler right now as a guide so I can make sure that when I'm putting the thank you tags in the paper that they're all that um, correctly placed on the sheet and they're not crooked or um, they're not offset. So this is what I normally do. So you would take the ruler, you would click on the ruler, you would drag it down to create the guide. So you put it wherever you want. I, I usually put it like right at the tip up here. And then once you have it where you want it at, you just release it and it will stay there. And you will see this little green fluorescent light. Once you save the file, this this will not be there. It's just this is just a guide for you to know where it's at. And then you do the same for the other side. So you would drag and you will place it where you want it. So I'm gonna put mine right there. So now what I do is I will put my tag, my thank you tag that I sell right there. If I wanna get a closer look, as you see, it's helping me, it's guiding me to make sure I'm putting it in the right spot. And then I do the same thing again. I grab it again, my tag, and I put it right on the green line. And this is going to help me make sure that this is straight right here. And then I do the same thing again. And then I put it right there. You can also use it to kind of measure in between. So if you want to make sure that this tag and this tag have the same distance between them, you could kind of do it here as well. Normally, I just you look by, I judge by how I see it. Um, so, and then I'm going to do the fourth one. So, boom, put it right there. And then this is gonna give me an idea of if the line is straight. So then I'm gonna zoom in and it's gonna show me that it is. So this one's a little bit lower. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it a little higher, a little higher right by the green. So this is a way that I use the guide. You can use it any way you want, but this is the way. Once I have my four tags, what I normally do is I just save a file of this and instead of putting every tag individually because that, that does, is very time consuming, what I normally do is I'll take the one tag, put it on top, drag it, and then align it again with the guide. You see how the guide is right there on the left hand side? So I align it there and then I take the other one again, drag it down. And make sure I align it again with the, with the green line. 
And let's say that, you know, you, you, you align it and you feel like it's not where you want it to be. All you have to do, let's say you want to move the line, you use the move tool and you just drag it up. And that's all you have to do. And then you could just kind of like push them up a little bit more. And then these are already aligned and then align. That way I could leave a little space on the bottom, on the top, on the side. And this will be a file that I will sell to someone that they could cut the tags. But this is how I, one of the ways that I use the guide. Let's say later on you want to go ahead and delete them. All you have to do is click here and you could just um, click on rulers and, and they will go away. You could drag them out if you want. Um, or you could just put clear guides and then automatically would we'll delete the whole thing. So just depending on what you prefer. But this is a quick tutorial on the benefits of using the ruler guide. I know it's not like a, a fun function, but it is very convenient because if I want to make this straight or if I want to create crop marks on my invitations or create something like that, you can use it as a guide to help you with whatever design or whatever you're doing at that current moment. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you leave a comment below with any questions you may have about additional Photoshop tutorials. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.